Some folks have nothing better to do than hide behind their keyboards and mobile devices and cause problems for others. They will hack into their accounts, use their pictures and even their identities to post comments, make purchases and bring trouble to real life people behind those identities. They're internet trolls and they're worse than annoying. Trolls also enjoy harassing and mocking others from the safety of their computer. One woman is fighting on behalf of her daughter, not only taking on the internet trolls but Twitter as well. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Natalie Weaver has a 9-year-old daughter named Sophia. Sophia has Rett disease. This is a neurological condition that affects her speech, movements, breathing and eating. She also has a facial disfigurement, type 1 diabetes and an immune deficiency. Online trolls targeted little Sophia using her image to promote eugenics. Natalie has received a lot of support from people online after this horrible experience. She is a major daddy's girl. She laughs all the time and has sweet dimples under her eyes when she smiles. Her mother posted this on Twitter. People with facial deformities experience a lot of cruelty. The hate and stares I received when Sophia was a baby were painful and made me hide away for seven years. I decided over a year ago to stand up and fight against this. I will not be silenced by hate. Thank you for supporting us." Natalie said this about Sophia. She's a major daddy's girl. She laughs all the time and has sweet dimples under her eyes when she smiles. She's like all other children, living as much a normal childhood as she can. Later last year, Natalie created a Twitter feed to show just how much like other children Sophia is despite her medical history. I will not be silenced by hate. Thank you for supporting us. Her all-time favorite color is green. Sometimes she can even say green. She loves all types of music and will pat her hand to the beat perfectly. She enjoys popping bubbles and having us read to her. She also rolls her eyes at mommy and is sassy just like a typical 9-year-old. She can wash away your pain and fears in an instant just by holding her. Another post said, She works very hard to do the things we take for granted like walking, talking and using her hands. When everything lines up, she can get a word out and take a step. She gets really proud. Unfortunately, some warped twisted person crossed a line that pissed Natalie off. They posted a picture of Sophia and included this nasty caption. It is okay to think that every child matters. However, a lot of them do not, hence the amnio test which should be a mandatory test. And if it proves negative and the woman does not want to abort, then all bills accrued after that is on her and the father. Whatever your views are regarding abortion, it's beyond inappropriate to suggest someone's life doesn't matter because of their medical history. Horrified and disgusted, Natalie blocked the user, but the image of her daughter was pinned to the tweet and still being circulated. She and her supporters reported the tweet to Twitter. The social media platform's response was less than pleasing. It claimed the tweet wasn't in violation of any rules or regulations. This didn't deter Natalie who posted this tweet to show how strong she is as a mother and how proud she and her family are of Sophia. Though we have to deal with a lot of pain and challenges in our life, we know the true meaning of happiness and living in the moment. All the bad makes all the good even more amazing. We appreciate the little things and we love our beautiful girl. We're so proud of her." Natalie issued another complaint. This time Twitter accepted they had been wrong and issued an apology. They suspended the user who posted the offensive tweet. Sophia's mother did an interview when she discussed the aftermath of this incident. It's been difficult. I've had days where I'm just crying. Though we have to deal with a lot of pain and challenges in our life, we know the true meaning of happiness and living in the moment. All the bad makes all the good even more amazing. We appreciate the little things and we love our beautiful girl. We're so proud of her. It's interesting I shared my story with a reporter because I wanted to put pressure on Twitter to have the person who was promoting eugenics and using my daughter's image I wanted them to take it down and I never imagined it would go viral like this. It's been difficult because this man was using my daughter in a hateful, vile way, which has now led to other reporters from right-wing media groups to change the narrative to fit their device's agenda. They lie which opened me up to more attacks. So a story about hate and attacks on my child has now led to more hate and attacks on my child. Natalie's fight isn't over. She's pushing for Twitter to allow people to report violations and have Twitter include adding those committed against those with disabilities to the list. She told CNN, Twitter needs to add people with disabilities as a category in their violation reporting. 
Otherwise, people don't know the appropriate categories select for hate towards people with disabilities. I'm proud of Natalie for pushing for change. Lazy trolls could learn a great deal from her compassion and strong nature. I hope Twitter takes note and listens to her suggestions. Sophia isn't the only person with a disability who would benefit from a change in their policy.